Hello and welcome back to Martin Maths. We're continuing the foundation paper series, question 19. We've got some lines with some arrows on them. We've got some lines with some marks on them. We've got the point A, B and C, D, E and F. That angle there is 142 and X is what we've been asked for and we've got to give reasons. My guest presenter is going to help me. What's the first thing that I need to do? You are going to do 180 minus 142. And why do I do that? Because it's angle on a straight line. So I've got an angle on a straight line there, and it gives me? 38. How much? 38. 38. Okay. And then I use that 38. What do we do next? 71. <laughs> We're not there yet, but good effort. Yeah, what do we do next? In triangle ABE, what, what, do we, what do we know? What do these lines mean? It means the triangle equal. is isosceles. Equal, so it's isosceles. So those lines mean they're equal, so it's an isosceles. So then what do I do? Which we know is 142. Half it. And then we halve it. So that gives us... 71. How much? 71! Okay. So now I've got 71 there and there. Then what do I need to do to find x? Y. In what are alternating angles? Do we call it a z shape? No, we call it alternating angles. But in what? What is z shape? What is alternating angles? What are we talking about? Pythagoras. It's not Pythagoras. It's pi d. It's parallel lines. That's what these arrows mean. They never meet. They never meet. Parallel lines. Fantastic. So X is? How much? 71! Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe, and comment.